All right, so the third entry point that we're covering today is the Send to Messenger plugin. And this is a great way to convert your website traffic, your website visitors into chatbot subscribers. Obviously the benefit of doing that is that once they opt in, you can re-engage them later and hopefully ultimately increase your sales. Now you might be asking too, before we start, what does this look like? You can see what that looks like on the screen right now. This is just one example of the Send to Messenger plugin. There is a little bit of customization that you can do, but Facebook is pretty tight-fisted on how you can customize it, but stick around and I'll show you more on that in a second. Now, one last thing before we show you how you can technically implement this on your website is you might be asking, well, Andrew, earlier we talked about the ref link. How is this different? Basically, if you really wanted to, you could still embed a ref link on your website. You could hyperlink that URL to text or even hide it behind a button, but I would definitely recommend using the send to messenger plugin here instead. The reason is it's just a better user experience. Here with the Send to Messenger plugin, you're setting the expectations. People see that messenger icon. It says Send to Messenger. They see their profile uh, for Facebook listed underneath that. So again, once it opens a new window or redirects them to the Messenger app, they're not going to be shocked. They're not going to you know, bounce. It's just setting a better user experience. So don't use ref links on the website, bottom line, use the send to messenger plugin instead, or the customer chat plugin, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So let's dive into chat field here and show you how to set all of this up. Basically, we're going along with the same restaurant theme here. One great example of using the Send a Messenger plugin is to promote a special offer, a deal, a lead magnet, something like that that really compels people to click through on that button. So here we're doing exactly that. We're going to say, hey, uh, we'll give you 10% off your next dine-in order if you chat with us, if you engage with us on Messenger. So this is the resulting message that we're going to send people once they click through on the website. So to hook up that uh, plugin, the Send a Messenger plugin, all we need to do is double click here on the canvas. I think you get the gist by now. And we'll add this Send to Messenger plugin. I'm going to connect this entry point to the flow and we're good. Now, all we need to do is click here on the button to add some customization, tweak a couple things. So at the top here, you'll see the code, more on that in a second on how we embed that. For the website domain, obviously just input the website where you wanna embed this plugin. In my case, for demo purposes, I'm using a website called W3Schools, but obviously use your actual website. For the button size, I'm going to really scale that up to extra large, which is also my favorite size of pizza. And then for the style, I'm gonna keep it on blue because blue is my favorite color. It's also the color of Cookie Monster, so you can't go wrong. But if you want, you could also toggle between white. But again, I'll go back to blue out of respect for Cookie Monster. And for the button text, you don't have as much customization as you might like here because you do have to use Facebook approved call to action text here, but there are a number of options so you can pick whatever is most relevant to what you're promoting, but I'll just stick to send to messenger. Now, all that we need to do is click copy code right here, go to our website and embed that code between the body tags of the website. So I'm going to zoom out here and replace the previous plugin that I had here with the new one that we just generated. I'll click run and it's not going to show up yet because we need to toggle on that switch in Flow Builder. So I'll toggle this on. We'll click run again and there we go. Ta-da, right? It works. Everything is working as expected. Now, you might be asking, well, also, how is this different from the customer chat plugin that you kind of alluded to earlier? And with the customer chat plugin, that is really intended for more long form interactive conversations. With the send a messenger plugin here, I would say that, again, it's a great example for using a lead magnet because with a lead magnet, you just have people click and you really just deliver that single one off message. With the customer chat plugin, which again, we'll learn more about soon, it's really more of a long form interactive conversation. Now, one final note here on the Send to Messenger plugin, if you make any tweaks to the plugin right here in ChatFuel, you're in luck because this is a no-code solution. Any changes that you make are gonna be pushed to your website without you having to update and edit the code. So for example, if I wanted to change the color back to white, even though, again, I don't like white as much as I like blue, and then I go back to my HTML editor here and click Run, 
you'll see that now it's magically changed to white. So this is super useful. And one other final pro tip here, keep in mind that you can also embed multiple Send a Messenger plugins on your website. So for that restaurant, you know, maybe I have one deal that I want to promote through this plugin on one web page. Well, I could promote another completely different deal or another call to action on a different page. So use as many of these plugins as you like. Just remember on the website, use the Send a Messenger plugin or customer chat instead of the ref link. It's best practice, better user experience. So that's how this plugin works. Be sure to try it today and convert more web traffic into those chatbot subscribers. Thank you